Hello everyone, I am Michael Farrar with Farrar Services and I am your trusted senior benefits advisor. And today I'll be going over original Medicare, what is part A, what is part B, and what is part D. We'll also go over your options such as adding a Medicare supplement plan or a Medicare Advantage plan. Now I understand when you're first coming on to Medicare, it can be very confusing and with the massive amount of mail and phone calls it can really become overwhelming so I'm here today to hopefully give you a better understanding of what Medicare is and what your options are I'll go over the pros and cons to having a Medicare supplement plan versus a Medicare Advantage plan so if you're ready let's go ahead and get started here and take a look now COVID-19 vaccines are going to be covered under uh, your Medicare benefits no cost to you, so you don't have to worry about it. You can go ahead and get your uh, COVID-19 vaccines, booster shots, all the nine. You can go ahead and get that, which will be covered under Medicare at no cost to you. As far as COVID-19 testing, that will be covered under your Medicare Part B. It will cover your first coronavirus test without having to worry about going to a doctor or a qualified healthcare to get approval for that. Anything after that, you may have to go to your provider to get approval for any further coronavirus tests that you receive. Now let's look at Part A. Part A is hospital insurance. Now majority of seniors will, are going to be automatically enrolled in Part A and they'll get their red, white, and blue card in the mail three months before their 65th birthday. Now if you are under 65, you can get Part A if you got Social Security or Railroad Retirement Board disability benefits for 24 months or you have end stage renal disease and meet certain re requirements. Part A covers you when you are in the hospital, which we'll go over the cost in a later slide. Now let's go over your initial enrollment period. You have seven months from your initial enrollment period, which begins three months before your 65th birthday and includes your birth month and ends three months after the month you turn 65. If you sign up for Part A during the first three months of your initial enrollment period, in most cases your coverage will start on the first day of the month that you turn 65. If your birthday is actually on the first of the month, your coverage will actually start the first of the month prior to your 65th birthday. If you wait till the month that you do turn 65 or in the three months after, it's going to delay your start date. So you want to try and keep everything done in those first three months before you turn 65. There is also a special enrollment period which we will not be discussing here today, but in short, if you will still be covered under your employer or your spouse's employer plan, you will get a special enrollment period uh, when you no longer will be covered under that plan. So let's go ahead and take a look at Medicare Part B here. Part B is for your doctors, okay? This will cover anything that has to do with doctors, such as going to see your doctor for a checkup. Anytime a doctor or specialist comes into your room while you are in the hospital, Part B is is what's going to be covering those doctor visits. Now Part B is optional. However, when you receive your red, white, and blue card, Part B will be included. So if you do nothing, you will get Part A and Part B. You can choose not to keep Part B, but you may have to wait to enroll and could pay a penalty for as long as you were eligible to have Part B that you didn't have it. So if you will stay on your employer's plan and the group has more than 20 employees, you will not need your Part B and you'll be able to enroll in Part B when your employer coverage ends or the employees drop below 20. If you've not received your card in the mail, you'll want to reach out to Social Security, which you can reach out to them at 1-800-772-1222. And they'll be more than happy to assist you. Most people will pay $170.10 per month for their Part B premiums in 2022. So let's dig in what is covered under your Part A Medicare benefits. So Part A is inpatient hospital cost. What it will cost you if you are admitted into the hospital. With Part A, you'll have a $1,556 deductible per benefit period. Now this is really important to understand. So what is a benefit period? Well, a benefit period starts the day you are admitted as an inpatient in a hospital. And the benefit period ends after you have not received any inpatient treatment for 60 days. 
What this means to you is you can end up paying your Part A deductible each time you get admitted into the hospital, which can really start to add up. After your $1,556 deductible, you'll begin paying $389 per day starting on day 61. If you're still in the hospital on day 91, it will increase to $778 per day. Now it's also important to note that after day 91, you're now going to be using your 60-day lifetime reserve days, which can only be used once and they're not renewable, which again simply means once those days are used up, you will be responsible for all the costs after day 91 in the future. It's also important to note that you could end up paying your Part A deductible six times per year. All right, so now let's move on and talk about skilled nursing facilities. With Medicare Part A, skilled nursing facilities will be covered for days 1 through 20 at no cost to you. Days 21 through 100, you will pay $194.50 a day per benefit period, which again starts over after 60 days of no treatment. After 100 days, you'll be responsible for all the cost. Now before we move on to Part B, let's look at what Part A and Part B will not cover. Medicare doesn't cover everything. If you need certain services that are not covered under Medicare Part A or Medicare Part B, you will have to pay for them yourself. So let's look at some of the items and services that Medicare does not cover, such as most dental care, eye examinations related to pres prescribing glasses. So if you're in the eye doctor trying to get a new prescription for glasses, that's not going to be covered under Medicare. It's not going to cover dentures, cosmetic surgery, acupuncture, hearing aids, and exams for fitting them, long-term care, and concierge service. Okay, so now let's move on to Part B. Part B will cover anything to do with seeing or visiting a doctor or a specialist. With Part B, you will have a $233 deductible per year. Once you meet the $233 annual Part B deductible, Medicare will pay 80% and you will pay 20% of any doctor-related cost. It's important to note that when you are admitted into the hospital, now each and every time a doctor comes in to visit with you, you're going to be responsible for 20% of that cost as he's charging. Every time he comes in the room, he's he's charging. So he's billing the insurance company, which is going to be passed on to you at 20%. Okay, so now let's take a look at a few things fully covered under your Part B Medicare benefits. With Part B, it will cover medically necessary services or supplies that are needed to diagnose or treat your medical condition and that meet accepted standards of medical practice. It will also cover preventative services to prevent illness like the flu or detect it at an early stage when treatment is most likely to work best. Most preventative services will be covered under your Part B at no cost to you, which here are a few of those preventative services covered under your Part B. So as you can see here, your shots, flu shot, COVID-19, hepatitis B, bone mass, measurement, breast cancer screening, cardiovascular, cardiovascular disease screening, diabetes screening. Most of your preventative services are going to be covered under Part B at no cost to you. Okay. Now let's go ahead and take a look at Part D, which is your drug coverage. Medicare Part D covers your prescription drugs, which in many cases can be one of your biggest monthly costs when it comes to your Medicare benefits. And with Medicare Part D, how much you and your Part D plan pays will change during the year. There are four different coverage phases for your Medicare prescription drug coverage. And the first is your deductible period. If your plan has a deductible, you will have to pay the full cost of your drugs until you meet that amount. Now it's important to note that each carrier can charge different deductible amounts. However, no carrier can charge more than $480 for the year, which is the max deductible set by Medicare for the year 2022. Phase two is your initial coverage period, which you will pay 25% of the cost of your drugs and your plan will pay 75% of the cost of your drugs. Moving on to phase three, this is your coverage gap which is more commonly known as the donut hole. And this begins after you and your plan together have paid $4,430 for your covered drugs. 
It is important to note here that when you are filling your prescriptions, no matter what the prescription costs you at the pharmacy, the full cost of that drug is going towards your $4,430. So for example, if it costs you $3 to fill a prescription and the full cost of that drug is $700, the $700 is going towards that $4,430 and not the $3. This is important to keep in mind. And if you'd like to learn more on best practices that help keep you out of the donut hole, send me an email at m f as in Frank e r r a r a at ferraraservices.net, or you can always call me directly at 630-688-5091, and I'll be happy to help. And I'll put this information down below in the um, in the notes, so you'll have it down there. Now, when you are in the donut hole you will pay 25% of the cost of generic or brand, brand name drugs and will receive a 75% discount as your plan is paying nothing while you're in the donut hole, which is why it's important to stay out of the donut hole if at all possible. This brings us to the last phase, which is when you get out of the donut hole and into the catastrophic phase, which begins when you have paid $7,050 for your covered drugs. And while in this phase, you're going to pay 5% of all your covered generic or brand name drugs. Your plan's going to pay 15% and Medicare is going to pick up 80%. Okay. And finally, the base premium for Part D drug plans, which again can vary from carrier to carrier, is $33.37 per month. So again, Part D of your Medicare will vary from carrier to carrier. Each carry has their own formularies, which depending on which drugs you take and where they fall on that, on that carrier's formulary is going to determine how much out-of-pocket it will cost you, which is why working with an advisor like myself is very important to help make sure that your, the plan that you select is the best one to fit your unique needs, your drugs, and your situation. So what now? What are your options? What is the best plan and benefits for you? Now this is a great question and there is no one simple answer to this question as everyone's situation and needs are going to be different. So with that being said, let's take a look at some different options that you do have. When it comes to your Medicare benefits, you really have three options. And those options are to stay on Original Medicare and purchase a Part D drug plan. Stay on Original Medicare, purchase a Medicare Supplement Plan, also known as a Medigap Plan, along with a Part D drug plan. Or you can go with private insurance and purchase a Medicare Advantage Plan, which is also known as Medicare Part C, and usually includes your Medicare Part A, Medicare Part B, and your Medicare Part D. So let's go over what is a Medicare Advantage Plan and what is a Medicare Supplement Plan. In a Medicare Advantage plan, which is run by private health insurance carriers, you generally will not have a monthly premium. However, some plans will charge a premium for certain plans that they do offer. You will still be responsible for paying your Medicare Part B premium each month to Medicare. Medicare Advantage plans generally have a deductible for hospital visits, doctor visits, or prescription drugs. Plans usually charge you a fixed copayment when you visit a doctor instead of the 20% coinsurance you would pay under Original Medicare. All plans must include a limit on the amount of money you spend out of pocket during the year, which for 2022 is $7,550. They also cannot charge higher copayments than Original Medicare for certain care, which includes chemotherapy, dialysis, and skilled nursing facility care. They can, however, charge you more than Original Medicare for other services, such as home health care, durable medical equipment, and inpatient hospital services. Almost all Medicare Advantage plans have a network of doctors, hospitals, and pharmacies, and provide services only in a certain part of the country, which is why it's very important to review any plan that you may be interested in, and to also review it each and every year as networks and benefits will change with those plans. So your doctor or hospital may be in network this year, but not the next year. Medicare Advantage plans will also generally include extra benefits Original Medicare does not.
such as vision, dental, and some plans will even include a yearly gym membership. Now you may be asking, this all sounds really good. So what's the downside to having one of these plans? And to name a few of the limitations of these plans, the biggest one is your doctor not having 100% control over your health care. And what I mean by this is, if your doctor determines that said procedure is the best option for you, and your Medicare Advantage plan determines that, you know what, it really isn't necessary to have that procedure done, you could be on the hook for paying that bill if you go ahead with, that, with your doctor's advice. Another downside to these plans, which doesn't pertain to everyone, is they limit you with travel. So for any of you snowbirds watching this, a Medicare Advantage plan, you are tethered to the plan's network. So if you go out of the network, you may have limited coverage or no coverage at all, which could be a big issue when you're traveling from state to state. The last thing I'll point out about these plans is networks do change each and every year which could be an issue again if your doctor or hospital decides to leave a network for whatever reason, you'll have to decide to keep your plan or try to find a new plan that your doctor or hospital is in their network. And the worst part of that is if the doctor leaves midterm, so the middle of the year, you're going to be stuck either trying to find a new doctor or hospital to go to until that next annual election period where you can switch plans. So my final thoughts on Medicare Advantage plans is They've gotten a lot better over the years, and there are some really good plans available, and one of these plans might work best for you and your situation. So my recommendation is have a conversation with an advisor like myself and see if one of these plans works for you. Now let's move on to Medicare supplement plans, which are also known as Medigap plans. Now Medicare supplement plans, which again are also known as Medigap plans, Help pay certain Medicare costs, including deductibles, coinsurance, and copays. There are many plans available. However, we're only going to focus on the two main ones, which is Plan G and Plan N. Now, you may have heard of Plan F, which as of January 1st, 2022, is no longer available to anyone first coming on to Medicare. Okay? Medicare supplement plans picks up where Medicare leaves off, which is how they got the name, Medigap, as they fill the gap in Medicare which we'll go over here in the next slide. A few things I will point out first is with all Medicare supplement plans, you are going to have a monthly premium. And premiums will vary from carrier to carrier, which is why it's best to work with an advisor to make sure you are never overpaying for your Medicare supplement plan. As you will see here shortly, all the benefits are exactly the same no matter who you purchase the coverage through. Unlike a Medicare Advantage plan, after your initial enrollment period, you will need to qualify for a Medicare supplement plan with most carriers as they can choose not to accept your application for coverage. During your initial enrollment period, you'll be able to select any insurance carrier and any plan without going through any underwriting, any medical questions, any pre-existing pre conditions. It doesn't matter. You're guaranteed to be approved during your initial enrollment period. With a Medicare supplement plan, you are free to go to any doctor, any hospital in the U.S. that accepts Medicare. You're not tethered to any network restrictions. Medicare is your insurance carrier and your supplement plan follows Medicare. Simply put, when you go to the doctor or the hospital and they ask, who is your insurance carrier? You say Medicare and you hand them your Medicare card, not your supplement card such as Blue Cross Blue Shield, Humana, Aetna, Mutual of Omaha, your insurance carrier stays Medicare. Your supplement plan supplements your Medicare, okay? As they are going to bill Medicare, and then Medicare will build your supplement plan. It follows Medicare, okay? Medicare supplement plans do not cover your prescriptions. Therefore, you will also need to purchase a standalone Part D drug plan. All, med all Medicare supplement plans are regulated by the federal government which simply means they have determined the benefits offered by each plan and not the insurance carrier. The only difference when shopping around at plans is the premium charge and the level of service offered by each carrier. You're not locked into any plan as you can switch Medicare supplement plans anytime throughout the year. They don't have enrollment periods and again as long as you can qualify you can continue to switch month after month, which, again, isn't recommended, 
but that's available to you, okay? Also with Medicare supplement plans, your healthcare is 100% up to your doctor. No matter what your doctor recommends, Medicare will pay and your Medicare supplement plan will pick up the rest, no questions asked. Now let's take a look at the different Medicare supplement plans and go over them just a little bit more here. Here are all 10 Medicare supplement plans. As mentioned before, not all these plans will be offered by all private insurance carriers. This chart will show you what each plan covers and does not cover. Looking at the two most popular plans, which is Plan G and Plan N, you can see that 100% of Part A coinsurance is covered, 100% of Part B coinsurance is covered, 100% of hospice care is covered, 100% of skilled nursing facility care is covered, your Part A deductible is covered, and you have 80% coverage for foreign travel emergencies. So as you can see, when you purchase a Medicare supplement plan, yes, you will have a monthly premium. However, other than your Part B deductible, everything else will be covered. When you purchase a Medicare supplement plan, you have the freedom to travel. You can see any doctor, go to any hospital, or specialist that accepts Medicare. As long as you pay your monthly premium, everything else other than your Part B deductible is going to be covered at 100% which gives you the best overall benefits and peace of mind knowing that no matter what happens, the most you're going to spend is your Part B deductible and whatever your monthly premium for the Medicare supplement plan. Now let's say that you're admitted into the hospital. We know that you have a Part A deductible of $1,556 per benefit period. Looking at the two most popular Medicare supplement plans, which is Plan G, and Plan N, as you can see here, your Part A deductible is covered at 100%, so you pay nothing. Now let's take a look at your Part A coinsurance. Days 1 through 60, you pay nothing. Days 61 through 90, you pay $389 a day, which if, you are, if you're there 90 days, you're going to pay $11,281. With your Medicare supplement Plan G and Plan N, you'll pay nothing. That cost is covered at 100%. Days 91 through 150 is your lifetime reserved, which you only get once. And as you can see, it will cost you $778 a day for a total cost of $46,680, which you would be responsible for under Original Medicare. With your Medicare Supplement Plan G or N, you again will pay nothing. It is covered at 100%. Your Medicare supplement plan will also provide you with an additional 365 days of coverage that Original Medicare does not. Let's now look at the Part B cost and how we are going to pay the doctors. Part B, you have a $233 a year one-time deductible for 2022. With Plan G or N, you're responsible for paying your Part B deductible. And once your Part B deductible is met, we're going to look at Part B coinsurance. With Medicare Part B, Medicare will pay 80% of the bill and you'll pay the tw other 20% with no max out of pocket. With your Medicare Supplement Plan G or N, you will pay nothing. It will be covered at 100%. So as we can see here, supplementing Original Medicare with a Medicare Supplement, pl supplement Plan, also known as Medigap, will prevent that high out of pocket unknown that can come with Original Medicare or even a Medicare Advantage plan. The last thing I will point out about Medicare supplement plans is when shopping around at different carriers, it is again important to note that Plan N or Plan G is the exact same with Mutual of Omaha as it is with Aetna, as it is with Blue Cross and Blue Shield, as it is with any other carrier. Okay? The only difference is the premium charged and the level of customer service and the yearly rate increases that may be offered by each one of those insurance carriers. You want to be careful. You don't get on a plan that's going to increase too much per year. But that's the only difference between the plans. The benefits are the same. So I really appreciate you spending a little time with me here today to go over Medicare and your Medicare options. Hopefully you found this information useful and have a better understanding of what your options are when it comes to your Medicare benefits. 
As I know, it can be very confusing when first coming onto Medicare, or even if you had Medicare for a while, with all the changes and the abundance of information, it can get a little bit overwhelming at times. If I can help answer any questions, or if you're ready to have a conversation about your Medicare benefits, give me a call at 630-688-5091. You can also send me a text or shoot me an email at m, f as in Frank, e, r, r, a, r, a, at ferraraservices.net, and I'll be honored to help. Again, my name is Michael Ferrar, and I am your trusted senior benefits advisor. And I, again, appreciate you watching, and I hope you have an awesome rest of your day or night. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.